Did I buy more summery kitchen gadgets? Yes, I did. Do I regret it? Nope, not at all. Hey guys, welcome back to my kitchen, or if you're new here, welcome in general, because we are here today to do some more Amazon Kitchen Gadgets Tested. I did a video of this at the beginning of the summer and I got so many comments on all sorts of different other contraptions and gadgets and I was like, well, guess we're doing a part two. So if you have any other suggestions for other Amazon Kitchen Gadgets that we should try out next, make sure you leave a comment down below and give this video a thumbs up so I know that you enjoy the video because I like making these videos. They're very, very fun. So it's good to enjoy it together. And we're gonna start in an area that I just, I can't get enough of and I just, I keep, I'm determined to find something that's gonna work. And that is another popsicle mold. And it's not just the popsicle mold, I am determined to find some good popsicle recipes. So that's what we're also doing. Starting with last night, because one of the recipes needed to be like an overnight thing. It needed to freeze for a while, which may be a theme in today's video. But I wanted to make Brazilian limeade popsicles, because I've seen Brazilian limeade on my feet a lot, and I thought it would be really good as a popsicle. So, last night. Night before, making popsicles. Ooh. Love limes. How many limes does this thing take? This one's only two. I'm having the recipe because it's a small mold. Ooh, let's go grab that. Oh, it's so cute. These are so cute and I'm gonna be so upset if I don't see every single last detail on them. <laughs> Size reference, um, still pretty small. This feels wrong. Yeah, creamy limeade. It doesn't sound super appealing, but it looks really good in the end. There we go. My goodness, I mean, it smells really good. It does actually. It has these like little sticks here that are plastic. They just fit in right here. So it makes it a lot easier. So you can just kind of reuse them versus the wood ones we've done in the past one. That looks so good. Now we cover it and into the freezer it goes. And so those are in the freezer and have been overnight. So now we're gonna make the one that takes a little bit less time and I figure we can make it together. And for this one, we are going to be making Jell-O popsicles because who doesn't love Jell-O? Especially my favorite, drum roll, blue raspberry. Was anyone surprised? It's this or lime and I think that this would look better as a toucan if I'm honest. So in here, I halved the recipe because again, we only have the three here because I used the other ones for the Brazilian limeade. And so this is fully dissolved and now I'm going to add in a half a cup of cold water. Steady, steady. Ta-da! And stir. Get in there. Get in there and it comes with a silicone lid, so we can put that right on top. I really like this, this silicone mold. This one is way better than the last one I tested. Beautiful thing, beautiful thing. Okay, I'm gonna go put this in the freezer. I'm gonna lie to you, that was a nightmare to transport. Just, it's, it's very liquidy, so it kinda, you know, you, got, you gotta balance it. Anyway, just <laughs> heads up. But now we're gonna go on to the other thing that we need to freeze, and I did freeze one overnight, and that is one of those really pretty, like, ice molds and not just any ice mold. No, no, I had to get the rose ice mold. It is so pretty. So this is what it looks like. So you can see all of the little like patterns and everything in, in the top here. And then I was thinking about it this morning and I was like, that is going to be a very like opaque ice cube. Like it's going to look a little cloudy. So I started to look into and research into the world of clear ice, which is again, like a, like a rabbit hole. I just kind of dove headfirst into. And there's a lot of different ways you can do this. There are ice aficionados that I am, I'm not one of them. So one of the things somebody said was to boil water twice, twice boil it. And then once it's cooled, use that to fill and it should make it less cloudy. I don't think it'll be perfectly clear, but that's what we're going to try. So I have some water here that I boiled twice. It has cooled mildly. It's still kind of warm, but whatever. So I'm going to fill it into here. Then we put this in like this. And then water comes out the top like a, like a sprinkler. Pour it away from the top. There we go. Beautiful. So we're gonna freeze this now because the other one is frozen and we'll see what that one looks like. Swap. Let's see, what's it gonna look like? It's ice. Get out. Get out right now. Woo, look, it's a rose, it's a rose. Oh, it's so cold, it's so cold. I need to put it in a pretty glass so you can see it. Okay, it's not necessarily a pretty glass, but it is a glass. Look at that. 
That's pretty cool. This would be good for like a cocktail because it's not gonna water down your drink as quickly. Christopher, what do you think of my ice? I want it to be clear. Cause it's not as pretty. It doesn't look good from the side. It looks good from the top. Yeah, only from the top. Mm -hmm. Can I fill it with water and see what happens? Yeah. What happened? <laughs> oh no, what happened? <laughs> oh, oh no. Mm. Yeah. That doesn't really look like fades anything. Quickly. Yeah. What if the liquid were not clear? Pour some of that in. Does it look better? Nope. I got really excited about it until we put it into a drink. Mm. And then it's not as exciting. Really great. And here's the second rose ice cube because I forgot to film it. All right. It is a little bit more clear. I think so anyway. Wow, it looks really pretty up close. Like this, beautiful. This, not as cute. I think you could probably save your money on this one. But good to know that the, uh, the boiling water kind of worked. The next one, we're gonna test out another ice cream thing because everyone was commenting in the video that I needed to try a different ice cream machine and it's the Ninja Creamy. So many comments. So many people were excited about this. Yeah, people so, are stoked about this. So we bought it, but I couldn't just test ice cream because I'm sure I'm sure that their ice cream is is very good. But the thing with the Ninja is that it it shares so many different other options. So you could do gelato, sorbet. You can add mix-ins. You can do smoothie bowls. Like it's just like a whole bunch of things. So I wanted to see <laughs> what else can it do and does it taste different enough. So. Back to last night. Aha, I thought you got rid of me, but I'm back again, now it's ice cream time. We are gonna be making the gelato. I'm very excited about gelato though, because we had really good gelato one time. Well, several times, but on one trip. Only on one trip. It was 12 years ago, so. 14? 14? Yep. Ugh, oh, it's disgusting. <laughs> so now we get to make gelato. Gotta get the eggs separated. Cream, we gotta put it on the stove. Like it's a whole thing. All right, ice cream in the freezer and 10 p.m. dinner for us. <laughs> See you tomorrow. So this right here is the uh, Ninja Creamy. It has a whole bunch of different buttons here of different things that you can make, but you had to make everything the night before. This is important. This machine makes whatever you freeze into a different thing. But what I liked about this versus the last one that we had is the other one, you had to um, use the, like the frozen drum that goes into the machine. You had to make all the ingredients and put them into that and put that in the freezer. This one comes with these uh, little pint containers. And a bunch of them too. Yeah, and you just put the uh, ingredients in here and put that in the freezer and then that is supposed to go in there so you can make a bunch of different ones. Which is nice. I thought that was a good idea. So we landed on gelato and sorbet because again, the sorbet is just one ingredient and I thought that looked really cool. So. Um, we're gonna make both of them now and just see. We'll try them. We, I, I, I'm very excited. Do you wanna go to one? I'm gonna eat ice cream is what I'm hearing. Yes. Yeah. I'm really excited about the gelato though. I can't stress to you how excited I am. And I also bought chocolate ice cream so we can kind of compare and just see, is it gelato-y? Again, I'm not, an, I'm not an expert at gelato, but I should be able to tell the difference between an ice cream and a gelato. So which one should we make first? Maybe the sorbet? I'm curious just, about that one. Just, Hopefully, because <laughs> I think that one's going to be really cool and I'm kind of excited about it. Okay, remove the pint from freezer, remove lid, and Did then <laughs> we're crushing it. Um, and then it says, go to the quick start guide for bowl assembly. Have you looked at that already? I, I haven't I looked at that. the bowl assembly. Quick start guide's over there, but I think I did it. Okay. So many instructions. Install the creamerizer. I love how they come up with these like 
fun names for paddle. And then install the lid just slightly to the right of the outer bowl handle so that the lines on the lid and the handle align. Rotate the lid clockwise to lock. Click. <laughs> install the outer bowl now. Did you install the outer bowl? Oh, okay, you're way ahead of this. Click. All right, select the button, press power button, and then select the program. Did you get it? Well, you. Sorbet. Sorbet. There we go. Install. Install installation. What does install installation mean? Nowhere was I told about an install. Did you put it up too? Place the outer bowl, oh, twist yeah, the handle to the right, and raise the platform. Ah. Click, there we go. All right. One more click. It's okay, it was our error. It's gonna say. Sorry, but... ah. All right, I got a mint sprig from the garden. We got some peaches for garnish. Should we look at it? Cause it doesn't look like it did the outside. Yeah, let's take it out and take a look. And it says you can put it on respin if it's not, uh, hasn't, hasn't gone through, I guess. Looks pretty good. Yeah, that does look very appetizing. The outside still looks a little bit. Unmixed. Yeah, right. it doesn't look like it It went all the way through. Whoa. Top layer looks perfect, so let's try yeah. it. Look at that nice, cute little bowl of sorbet. I don't know the last time I had a sorbet, if I'm honest. It's generally all that you get offered at restaurants for a dessert. <laughs> it's true. It's like Maybe that... nut-free options. Um, you can get you like a small scoop of ice cream. Like a raspberry sorbet. Do you see me blow on it? I was just blowing on it's it a, out of habit. Yes, yeah, it's too hot. Honestly, that's really good. Peachy. Wow. Mm -hmm. That's just peaches in mm. syrup. Yeah. But still, that's really good. It's not ice crystal-y at all. Getting a little bit of it. Really? A little bit, yeah. Well, it's like, really good. Spin, but like, it's very good. Mm-hmm. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Let's do a respin then. Respin. It did move it around a lot, but it's still not catching the outside like edges. Some of it. It does look really creamy. I want to know if it tastes different than the first. You didn't blow on it. Honestly, that's a lot better. And I yeah. thought it was really good to start. Yeah, that improved it. Wow. Wow, that's very good. That yeah. is very, very good. Yeah, it's very clean tasting. It's very, uh, it's not overly sweet. I mean, it is because it's peaches and syrup, but it's not like crazy sweet. <laughs> oh, I'm really excited about it. Okay, well then I guess we need to do the gelato then. All right, gelato time. I like how it lights up the buttons too. You can see the buttons up there. They are, Ooh. Ooh. I don't know why, but that feels very fancy. <laughs> gelato. Ooh, look how gelato-y and delicious that looks. Ooh, ah, I'm very excited about it. Okay, wait, hold on, wait. Hang on, wait. Wait, we have to get out the chocolate ice cream too for comparison. Oh, that's true. Don't come for me with my boxed ice cream, okay? There aren't many that I can eat. Open there. Okay, so first of all, obviously the- Good job saving the ice cream from the floor. You're welcome. I dropped ice cream on my sock. It's fine, I'll deal with that. Later. From a consistency standpoint, I would say obviously one is creamier than the other because one is obviously homemade and the other is not. But okay, let's taste test the ice cream first. That must I? Well, I want to go from this to this. Okay. <laughs> That's the order I want to do things in. So icy. <laughs> Gross rates. Okay. Now, gelato. Now there was a lot that went into this recipe. You had to like heat stuff and ice stuff and whatever. It was less than I thought, less finicky than I expected. <laughs> I have low expectations now. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Boy, that's smooth. That's so good. Again, different ingredients. I understand they're not the same thing, but I wanted to get a sense from a consistency standpoint. If there was a distinction between that and ice cream, beyond just flavor, obviously. There it is. It is phenomenal. Now, the quality ingredients, so the taste mm. is good, but the consistency from the machine is great. Mm. It's got that creamier consistency. It's almost a, more of a softer consistency than, than the ice cream. Mm. That's Absolutely so good. fantastic. Oh, wow. Yeah. Wow, okay, so the last thing I wanna test with this, although I am already sold on it, is the mix-ins. But I wanna do that with the boxed ice cream, which I already put away. 
um, because I want to see if you could just take whatever box one you have on hand. Maybe you didn't put together the ingredients for it. You just kind of want to like mix in your own stuff into like a regular mm. vanilla or chocolate or whatever. So I want to see if that works. Okay, so for the mix-ins while you do this, um, I'm, I thought we could kind of do a whole bunch of different ones, but I want to make sure that I'm doing it properly because they had some, some rules. So the hard mix-ins, so like chocolates, nuts, gummies, things like that, um, they will not be broken down. So chop them small. And then there's like soft, like the cookies which will get broken down. So I wanna do both for fun. So I have cookies and cream chocolate, mm -hmm. which I have apparently just squirreled away from myself. It's a classic. Um, Oreos. We have cream egg chocolate cookies. Mm, yeah. And then I also have somewhere, I, I have two mint chocolate Oreos. Mint chocolate Oreos. Yay! Okay, so I'll do those. So first you need to create a hole in the center, yeah, I did. four centimeters wide to reach the bottom of the pint and then drop your mix-ins into the middle. Like that. And then I was going to put in, like I was gonna chop these up a little bit and put yeah, them in. Because we'll they're, they're gonna, yeah, like the, that's not gonna get broken up. Wait a minute. Show me mix-ins. Oh, it's very soft now. Sweet. It's looking very dispersed all the way through, mm -hmm. which is awesome. There are little Oreo flecks. Throughout. Throughout, yeah. And it's looking very soft, so I'm kind of excited about it. I would have said the chocolate chunks need to be much smaller. The Oreo or the... White no, chocolate. the white chocolate mm. needs to be much smaller. Mm. Yeah, that didn't get broken up at all. I mean, you cut it up really small, but it, it stayed very solid. But I would do almost like flakes if you're gonna do, unless you like the taste of like chocolate chips in ice cream, which I personally don't. No, I don't either. But A, it improved the ice cream. Yeah, 100%. And it did disperse the Oreo as well. I did a good job. I'm impressed with this machine. Mm -hmm. I'm excited about these ice creams. Overall, great buy. It is not inexpensive. I will say, but I, I mean, if you like this, like it's done a really good job. I can yeah. only imagine it does a good job with smoothie bowls and milkshakes and all that stuff as well. So even if you just use it for making ice cream, this will pay for itself in two summers. Yeah, it's so good. Mmm, mmm, so excited. Yeah. Okay, next product we're going to make is for iced coffee. And I love a good iced coffee in the summertime. Just it's so, it's, it's perfection. And this device is supposed to cool down the coffee, like straight up hot coffee to iced temperature without diluting it in 60 seconds. And so I figured we'd do a bit of an experiment today. Test that versus my normal way, which is just filling a thing with ice and putting it in the coffee thing. The thing, the coffee thing, you know what I mean. And the device we're testing today is called the Hyper Chiller. So this is something that has a ring of ice in the middle. It has a ring of ice on the outside, which you had to put in the night before. It's so many things yesterday. And then you can just put this under like a Keurig or whatever machine you have, and it'll just put in the coffee and it'll pour it in to where it's supposed to go. Now you can sip it from here, which is an option. I'm gonna be temperature checking it. So I'm gonna pour it into a separate glass and we're gonna be testing it and otherwise you'll see. But first things first, we're gonna put this in my Nespresso and then we are going to temp check it after 60 seconds. All right, I have it under my Nespresso and you can see it is quite, um, there's there's not a lot, a lot of room for air here with where the nozzle's coming out. So I'm just positioning it here in hopes that it'll spray out or it'll go into the spot where you're supposed to drink from. So hopefully this works. Ooh, it's barely, barely making it in there. Well, this so far is working. Okay, I set a timer already. I couldn't get my, my camera up fast enough. It has another 30 seconds and then I'm gonna pour it and I'm gonna check the temperature on it. I'm very curious. And then the other thing we're going to test with this is because apparently it'll do two beverages, um, one right after the other. So I'm going to also um, test a buble that I have left outside. No one wants warm pop or sparkling water or whatever canned beverage you have. Look at that. That's a minute. The nice and icy chill? No. That is 92 degrees. Toasty. Yeah. Do it more time. Yeah. Not a minute. Back in you go. 
I feel like the theory behind this is sound. Yeah, absolutely. Eyes on yeah. the inside? Yeah, inside, outside. Yeah. yeah. Then we'll try putting the, I don't want to call it anything other than buble. Do you think it's going to be cool now? Whisper says no. Let's find out. Two minutes. Says so 60 degrees. Oh. No. It's cool. It's not iced. Back in you go. <laughs> it is cold. It, it cooled it, definitely. But that is not a refreshingly cold iced coffee. Okay, well, while this is working, I'm going to make another one with just like a, a just normal ice in iced. it. And then we can see... Because that's going to dilute it, obviously. So I'm going to go get that, and then we'll retest this in a minute. Three minutes, I guess, total. All right, I'm going to just put on the one for iced coffee. Third minute. Third minute. 49 degrees. Making a difference. Yeah. Every minute longer, it makes a big jump in temperature. Is that more icy for you? Yeah. Christopher likes really cold and very hot drinks. Okay. You're extreme. I am extreme. Now, the taste. Really good. Like, it's really like, good. It's not, not diluted. No. Very nice coffee taste. It just needs to get there. Look at that. Beautiful. Wow. Right to the brim, everyone. So I'm going to give that Give that a minute. Minutes. No, three minutes. Give it a minute to start, though. Wow. I want to see where it's at. All right. Like, what's the base? Like, like, what did it come out of the hopper here at? 46, 45. But are you touching 45. ice? I'm all the way at the bottom. There's no ice down there. 40, 39. That's... No, it's touching ice at the bottom. There's no way it's 38 degrees in there. But is it more diluted? Oh, for sure. But that's a refreshing beverage. What temperature are you hoping it's going to get to? I don't know. I've never measured it. It's <laughs> close to freezing, ideally. So like... What's that in... I'm... It's 32 in America, Liberia, and Burma, and nowhere else. You Americans. Your taste tested? It's 42. Okay, hold on. Okay. I don't want to get my hair in it. Okay. All right, I have some thoughts. Your turn. That's cold enough. 42 is good enough. And that's better. But Touch. diluted. But diluted. Yep, it is. It definitely is. Yeah. Yep. yeah noticeably. Huge difference in taste. Okay, I'm going to try one last thing. All right, what are you going to do now? Drink directly from this. Oh, all right. Does it make any difference? Not really, no. I didn't, well, I, no, I don't want to taste it if it's not really. Right. Does it cool things down? Yes. Yeah. It's going to take longer than a minute, but I don't know what temperature it promised for a minute. I should have checked that, but anyway, it takes a couple of minutes, yeah. but the big thing is it doesn't dilute it and it makes it cold. So if you want fairly instant iced coffee, so you don't have to stick it in the fridge for a number of hours or dilute it, this was great. But like, again, you have to keep these pieces in the freezer. Actually, speaking of, um, I'm going to be using this again for the, the bubbly. So mm. let's rinse this off, get that all sweated. So I was rinsing this and um, I took it apart to clean out the container, you know? Cause again- That's on me. <laughs> so in taking this off, um, it's very watered down, but now all the ice is at the bottom and now we can't put it back together. I was just trying to rinse it. Just trying to be helpful. I appreciate you. It is a lot of water. I will say that. What about in the other one? That's oh, all, all water. water. No ice left on that. It says it can do two servings. Ah. Actually, hang on. So Chris bought a coffee and he did two cups of it. So this one got down to like 42, which is like quite cold. And then right after he poured in the second coffee and it's down to like 40 degrees. So it does do two. We were wrong. And I think instead of um, just taking it apart to put in a different type of drink, I would just pour in ice water and rinse it that way. Sorry, hyper chill. <laughs> Do you want to go and get the, um, the pop though from outside? Cause yes, we're gonna do the other thing for it. Okay. Okay, so while Chris is gone, I have to do this other one. I just found it, it has nothing to do with kitchen, but I need to try it. It's a reusable water balloon and they look, they look like this and, and they have this thing and you can open it and it and it snaps like it's like magnetic and you fill it with water and then you throw it and then it's supposed to open up. So I want to well, Chris is outside, so I'm gonna put some water in these. Hang on. Hey, Christopher. Hmm? Christopher. Huh. <laughs> that didn't break! What is this? It's a water balloon. Kinda. I'm a little sad it didn't open. Give it another go, harder. Technically, I threw it with my left hand, so let me try it with my right. Not yeah. that I'm a very good shot, but let's try it anyway. Alright, back. <laughs> I mean. Dude, that sounded like it hurt. 
No, it was more of a thud, but... Hang on. Okay, whip it at the ground. Wait, where are you whipping? I wait. hit the brick. Okay, go ahead. Is there water still in it? No. Oh, I got it out. Oh, okay. All right, hold on. Here, I have another one. I'll try to hit that cushion. Okay, go ahead. All right, it opens, yeah. and it closes right. back up magnetically. Oh, yeah. I don't know how I feel about that, though. You really got to whip it. You got to whip it hard, and then that would probably hurt a lot of people. Sorry. <laughs> I had to. Hey. For the internet. Okay, while well, I'm here, I'll grab the, the bumps. <laughs> right, that's why I came out. I got distracted with my tomatoes. <laughs> well, honestly, that's fair. Look how red they are. They're so pretty, Christopher. Yeah. The squirrels have not been eating them. Well, they've been getting at them, but... Not very well. They're so beautiful. Christopher, these are very nice tomatoes. Yeah, I'm stoked. Okay, well... That didn't work. Oh, and also I just realized I don't want, I can't, can't use this for the next product because it's warm. But that's okay because we have some other cans. But what I wanted to use it for is for these kind of um, can lid covers, basically. So they look a little bit like this. They have a, an area to sip out of, but then you can close it. So you're not going to attract bugs and stuff when you're outside and whatever. So I wanted to see how they fit on and then how easy it was to drink out of them. So first, let's try it on like a standard can, right? All right, okay, that fits on a standard. Let's try like a like a tall can. Here we go. This is um, <laughs> this is an alcoholic one, but this this is sandbagger. Have you guys tried sandbagger? It's really good. It's got the because <laughs> pamplemousse. It's the French. It's like a grapefruit flavor. It's very good. So let's see if it'll also fit on this. Mm. Oh, it does. Sweet. Okay, but then what is it like to like drink out of this? I guess I'm having one of these. <laughs> I don't want warm sparkly water. Gross. I'm trying not to like squeeze the sides. Like it is not the easiest to like squish on, but I guess you don't want it to just like fall off. This would also be good because I came, it came in a pack of um, four and there were two different colors. So this would also be good for just coordinating whose drink is what. Can I twist this? Yes, I can. I didn't fully align it over the, <laughs> over the hole. Oh no, it's just kind of, it's spinning with the, the, the top is moving. <laughs> okay, here we go. Aligned. There, did it, wow. I'm just really talented. Okay. Yep. And then you can just close it. I don't know how leak proof it is. Oh yeah. No. I mean, if it spilled, it would probably save some of your drink. It is coming out the top a little bit. That's good to know. It works really well. I am pleased. Oh, I guess now we have to try the popsicles. I know the Brazilian ones are for sure done. I like how the popsicles have just turned into me demanding to find a popsicle recipe. Okay, so the top doesn't look cute. She don't look cute. That's fine though, because the other side will be great. I want to try this like cupcake one. Oh, it comes out so easily. Oh, that's so cute. It's got a little bit of like stuff on the outside, but I probably like tipped it in a bit. It comes away easily. Look how cute that is. <gasps> Christopher, look. Oh, nice. I think it's got definition from here. That's awesome. Oh, I'm so excited about this. Okay. What about you? What do you look like? Oh, you're just a standard, a classic, but still really like smooth. And now I want to taste test it though. You know what? That's better. Mm -hmm. Christopher, you want to try this? Yeah, that's a Brazilian lime. Mm -hmm. It does have this the ice crystal -y vibe. Oh, it's good, right? Mm -hmm. I would absolutely drink more or drink. I'm gonna drink more of them. Yeah. Perfect, sure. I'm gonna try the the little lids. It works. Yeah. And then it closes up. This is a good drink. I like this one. I know it's so good. Let's see. Oh, will that work with this? Mmm. Mm-hmm. So this might take some MacGyvering. <laughs> This goes on here. I got these, this Yeti Cozy for tall cans. Well, on prime sale. Yeah. <laughs> There's really like these drinks in particular. Holla at your girl, sandbagger. <laughs> or just sponsor Chris. He really likes them. I don't get a lot of sponsorships, <laughs> personally. <laughs> I feel like I built a little house for my drink. <laughs> you want it? very extra. It is very over the top, but I mean, no bugs and cold. Shh, no one can hurt you now. It's very good though. Mm -hmm. I'm obsessed with this. Okay, now I need to know, 
I don't think the Jello ones will be ready, but I need to, I need to try. I'm gonna go check on them. All right, guys, I think the Jello ones are ready. Peel it out. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. Look at it. Okay, hold on. I want to see the toucan. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> this is fun. Pineapple, I don't know if she's gonna work because again, you can see the stick in here, so I, I won't be mad. Oh, yeah, no. The one side of the pineapple just like was absolutely no way. But you can see all the indents, so that's good. So I guess I'll eat this <laughs> broken one. Test it out. That's a weird consistency. I don't know how I feel about it. It's quite icy, but as it melts down, it tastes kind of jelly y. Is the best way I can just, I know what you're thinking. Rachel, you froze jello. What were you expecting? I don't know what I was expecting. The outside is fairly icy though, but I mean, I do like a good blue raspberry flavor, so I, like, I'm not mad at it. I prefer the Brazilian limeade though. So tell me, have you tried any of these before? Will you try any of these products and or recipes? Leave me a comment down below. Let me know which one you are the most interested in. And make sure if you like this, if you want to continue to see these as a series, make sure you give this video a thumbs up so I know which ones you guys like the most in terms of the videos that we do here. And check out these videos on the side in case maybe you have missed some. And leave me a comment down below. Let me know how you're doing. I hope you guys are having a fantastic Saturday and I will see you guys all next week.